gather here today to witness and celebrate an act of deep love. Marley and Karen, in their devotion, respect and love for each other, wish to unite in the holy bond of marriage and to dedicate themselves to each other's happiness and well-being as life mates and partners. Marley is the baby of our family. She is loved very much by us all. We have watched her grow into a confident woman who is ready to start a new journey as Kira's wife. Uh, yeah, we're Kira's parents and I know what you're thinking. He's so tall and we're so short. Four inch heels, guys. <laughs> Uh, like Rocky, Kerrod was born in Darwin and from that moment he was born, he wouldn't keep still. He was so active, it was a mission just to change him. You'd need to strap him down. His arms and legs, they were just constantly going. He crawled at four and a half months and he walked at eight and a half months, things his mother's so proud of telling him. <laughs> but he pretty much grew up waiting for that pace to quicken up. He was just all go. In Noongar means swan. When she was born, she was an ugly little duckling. <laughs> Only joking. She was the most beautiful thing I had set my eyes on, and I was so proud, for I knew you would blossom into a beautiful swan, as we see tonight. Marley and Carrot are two amazing human beings who have the world at their feet. Their story is one of a common interest or passion. Then through the comfort of some liquid courage while I was out about in metros, which is a nightclub in Freya for all of you born pre-1980, <laughs> the two decided to initiate some communication. Although Carrot was trying to play it cool by being somewhat standoffish, not too sure why he considered it cool, but each their own. Mm -hmm. But it didn't matter, as Marley broke down this cool guy persona. As everyone here would know, deep down, this guy didn't stand a chance, as he was already very much attracted to Marley. Now, through this period, I started to think that Carrot must have been head over heels for Marley, and I was right because how else could you sit through hours and hours of Disney movies? I mean, there's only so many times you can watch Frozen unless you're four. <laughs> Marley, we met young, but it didn't take me long to fall in love with you and know you were the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. I was lost and unmotivated until I met you. But you have brought me so much happiness and meaning to my life. You are my best friend and the one person I trust with all my life. Jared, from the moment I met you, I knew you were my person. Though it took a while for it all to happen, it was your cheeky smile and personality that drew me back in. You know how to make me smile and laugh at any moment. How to break down those walls I built so high. And I started to open up and let you see all the crazy, fun and unique sides of me. Jared, you're a legend. You're the best mate a guy could ever ask for, man. So it was no surprise to me when this guy named Carrot started showing up around the house. If you know Marley, you know she's not um, much of a let's talk about our feelings type of gal. And no questions were really necessary because we could see what a great guy he was and how much he adored Marley and vice versa. Your smile and laughter brightens even my darkest days and your support and advice means more to me than you will ever know. <laughs> you have always been the best in me and is always pushing me to achieve the unachievable, which I'll be ever grateful for. I feel like the luckiest person in the world to have you stand by me for the rest of our lives and from this day forward I promise you these things. I almost also promise to sleep on my right shoulder more. That way you are the first person I see when I wake up, rather than those big beautiful brown eyes of Koda as he asks to get on the bed or if breakfast is ready yet. Cheers! <laughs> oh, amazing! Promise to help you when you need it and step aside when you don't. To always respect you and to be patient with you even when you leave the toilet seat up. 
I promise to laugh with you in good times and comfort you through the bad, and to always stand by you no matter what. Happy promises. I won't tell too much about Marley because I'm sure the maid of honor is going to grace you up pretty well. <laughs> but uh, you make him so happy. You can never be happier. You give him everything I couldn't. <laughs> Debatable, but I'll let you have this win tonight. You have to believe me, cause I has been achieved by the two of you already. You've built a beautiful home together and already well on your way as a young couple. It has been such a beautiful day for you both, surrounded by those that love and care for you so dearly. We can't wait to see what the future holds for you both, especially looking forward to the new additions to your family of the two-legged kind. is aware of Carrot's car obsession. Sunday, Sunday mornings he'd be out polishing and shining his car while Marley was still in bed. Um, but as they say, opposites attract and I think you two are the perfect match. I believe in you. So we can see why and how we're all standing here today in their biggest moment. There's actually only one thing left to do. Let's get these two legends hitched. Focusing on all that has gone wrong We can think about it, the place the light got in The love that's held together for so long I know this ain't easy satisfying rewards in life is seeing your children experience true love and happiness which Marley has absolutely found with Kirid. Thank you Kirid for loving my baby girl. I'm thrilled that you are officially part of our family. I know you will keep making Marley happy. I continue to embrace her for everything she is and everything she's not. In the presence of myself and everyone here, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Carrot, you may now kiss your bride. introduce you all for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Horn. Yeah. 